Recarbning. Uh. 523. What am I doing on the 23rd of May? The 22nd, I cleared the bathhouse, so I've literally done nothing. I've already obtained the fox's quest. I need chariot. Do I have a chariot persona? Let's find out. I do. I have Aramitima. So today I hang out with Chie. So she should be on the roof. I should also be able to get some quests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a bunch of quests that I'm uh, ready for. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yosuke. What other quests have I done? I haven't gotten the one from Miss Sofue. She needs a rod. Suspicious pole. Which is a little... May 23rd is a Tuesday, so I'll be playing this. Oh my god. Finish the desk. Royal Jelly, thank you. What other quests were there? I'm trying to remember. What I did? I did Angel Statue, Demon Statue. I have to talk to the girl on the rooftop. Uh, Ritz Wire. That's on the first floor. Olympic tape, I think, is what he gave me? Uh, Mori Ranmaru Sochu, he's not in this area. Did desk refurbishing. Today's the day that I could start... Uh, book exchange. I need a peach seed so I can even beat that today. Old key, can't do that. Extracurricular activities. Uh, that's not available yet, that's not available yet. Okay. Wait, really? Okay, so this it's the Sochu. Talk to the girl on the rooftop. And then I can do, um... Where is it? Girl on the rooftop. Three times. Ask, talk about her hobbies. Okay, I will go to the roof then. Hello, Yukiko. I'm not hanging out with you today. So chew. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna be able to. Mm, let me do the quest, the requests first. Some of them have deadlines, apparently. The demon statue had a de deadline. Hobbies. Okay. Can't talk to her anymore, so there's still one more thing that needs doing. And now I need to go to... Run more... He's on the bank of the Samagawa floodplain, and then the other one's at the shopping district. And I already... I think I already have a peach seed for him. It gives me a book that I'm not going to read, but... Unless it ups my understanding. No, wait. I need diligence. It's not you. Who, who is it? Where is it? It's you. Mori Ranmaru. Ranmaru Mori. <laughs> you play it as him in Samurai Warriors? Nice. Oh, hell yeah! Kanpai, my guy! 
I'm in high school. <laughs> uh, Central Shopping District. It's a dude in front of the... Uh... Shopping district, guy looking at the bookstore. This dude. I got the gentle way. Knowledge. Okay, I really don't need that. <laughs> Let me sell my junk. Woo! Silk fan! Any armor? No, I got punk shoes, though. Battle camisole. Revenge ring. Land badge. Right, right. These are the things that I found. In fact, I think... Nanman Usoku. Oh! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure everyone's armor is uh, up to date before I go off selling equipment. <laughs> yeah, Chie has a Kintabi Gosoku. She has a Suzaku feather. I have the shitty little imitation katana. <laughs> I have a metal jacket, he has the Fundoshi, she has the survival guard, she has a battle camisole, and I think our accessories are fine. Yeah. Nothing new. Nothing- I- I mean, who knows, but let me sell it first. Don't need a thunder vow. If I have a spark. Falcon eye, fire suppressor, eye suppressor. I have two of these, I don't need two of these. <laughs> Lizard charm, crow charm, wing strap. Okay, nothing else there. And then I have expendables that I don't actually need. Because... The... Um, yeah, these statues, uh, for quests, I drop that instead of their material. Wait, what Olympic tape? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get these, and they're only worth, like, 20. No point in keeping them. They only sell for 10, and they're only for the request. It's still money, though. Now I can buy hundreds of sodas. Yes. I get the feeling this is not going to be that good. Uh, yeah, well... Oh, gosh. Chie's defense is not great. Hmm. I'm gonna buy this, and then I'm gonna find something that's only for girls that's better, but not too much better than what Yukiko and Chie have, and I have to be like, cool, I spent money on this. Watch that happen. I'm still gonna buy this anyway, because she shouldn't have only 60 by the third dungeon. My luck with chests has just not been that good. <laughs> Alright, and as for weapons... This is armor still. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. 
I may buy a weapon because my attack is atrocious. <laughs> It, yeah. <laughs> so I only buy two things, because I only buy stuff if it's significantly better. Because the stuff you find in dungeons tends to be better. And it's free. <laughs> you upgraded uh, every. You upgraded equipment every other chapter because boosts weren't enough to buy them all. Yeah. Actually, wait. I just realized something. Don't buy anything from Shiroku yet. That's the only place I think that we can buy stuff from. I need to wait for it to rain. I'm not even gonna bother unless it's raining because she has the rainy day sale. It's Monday, though, so I am gonna buy soda. No prize. This is so sad. Do you think people save scum this? Where they like save. They'll save before they buy a drink, and if they don't win the prize, they reload. Do you think they do that? I bet there. I bet there are people who have done that. Cause you get like five extra of the, of any drink, so it's like you kind of getting it every single time. You can buy a drink. Five times? So it's five, and then every single one you win five more. Uh... Yeah, you get like... Yeah, right? Wait. Five times five. Yeah, you'd get like 25 sodas. That would be... I don't... That would be really good. <laughs> that just would. <laughs> All right, Riff. There's also one other thing. I wish I didn't crave snacks. Will Chie give you the meat gum if I hold on words? Yes, 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 give me the gum. Meat gum. Meat gum. Sorry, Chie, I'll be back. <laughs> She's in front of the Shiroku store, right? I think so. Hello? You want meat gum? Cool. Let me just be sure that I'm- that I've done them all. Okay, girl on the rooftop, and then extra Kyrillic- uh, hmm? <sighs> and then crave snacks. Or I wish I didn't crave snacks. There's only, what, 50? Yeah, there's only 50 quests in this game. So, uh, that's a decent chunk done already. Leave the shopping district. Five twenty-three chariot rooftop. Hang out with Chie. She gave me the meat gum. 
52 weeks in a year times 25 cans per Monday is 13,000 soda. <laughs> oh god. Yo. Or Yosuke, I really need to hang out with him again. I say that as if I'm not going to strictly follow this guide. I hang out with him when he says I hang out with him. <laughs> Oh no, it's only 1,300? Okay, I was about to say- Well, I actually didn't say anything, I just took what you said as fact. I decided to go eat with Chie after training. Delicious. Uh, you look so happy! <laughs> On the happiness scale, it's up there with watching action movies. Hello, uh, TLBG14, hello. Over 10 years, ah. it's 13,000, okay. <laughs> GA drifts into a blissful reverie. I need to work hard and pump myself up. Call you TL, all right. Or else I can't pull us out of a jam, right? Especially Yukiko, I need to be able to protect her. I hope she's not straining herself. It makes you worry, huh? I'll look out for her. Thanks. Thanks. That's what makes you the leader. Nice. I'll make myself stronger. For Yukiko, too. So keep it up, leader. Me and Yosuke act like that all the time. But we're all counting on you. <laughs> You can sense Chie's burning passion for justice. You're feel <laughs> you feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. Oh, you speedrun JRPGs? Cool. Can wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Nice. If you if by justice you mean meat-based food, then yes. <laughs> Excuse me, another fried rice with meat, please. How about you? Are you sure it's not well, you talk with Chi for a while. See you later. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the toy. Let's go. Wow. Welcome home. Wow, that was not. <laughs> you recently did a run of Persona Four. Cool. Let me save. Yeah. This save should be fine. Twelve hours. Oh God. Well, it's not the longest speedrun of a JRPG. There are certainly ones that are longer. Heck, there are speedruns that exist that aren't JRPGs and are just longer. We're gonna hang out with... Wait. Oh, are we gonna hang out with Nanako? <laughs> We're gonna hang out with Nanako! <laughs> um... yeah. Nice. Which rank is this, though? The base Persona 3 world record took 43 hours. Ugh. Okay. I- how ahead am I with- I should have checked. Shoot. I was right there. <laughs> oh, no, it's just a normal hangout. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't have to answer any questions, thank god. That means that it's rank 
four. That's 30 cents per soda can. It's 40 cents today with inflation? 29 hours. Okay, yeah. Um. Yo. There's like a category. And uh, maybe it's just because people really, really like the series. I'm largely neutral to it, but I watch a guy who speedruns a bunch of different stuff occasionally. And it's for Security Breach, which I think is an infinitely... It's a very interesting speedrun, but the base game casually is not that stellar. There's a category called 600%. It is on SRC. Um, at least I think. Last I checked it was. Um, where you basically 100% the game, but get a different ending six times, because there are six endings, which means you beat the game with an ending after getting every single item. And then starting over. <laughs> and it's a very long run. But obviously it's for fun. Because, uh, one person decided, nah, fuck this. I'm not gonna sleep during the speedrun like all the other people do. I'm just gonna- I'm just going to do it in one sitting. <laughs> he had many regrets, but he did do it in one sitting. <laughs> Why don't we hang out? No, no, he does not like- he doesn't like FNAF. It's, a uh, Astral Spiff is the- is the guy. You're learning Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on all difficult. Well, at least it's not Rechain of Memories. I don't think anyone enjoys that game, specifically because it's Rechain of Memories. Is that- okay, no, people have beaten that game. So, is that game even possible is not a viable question. But did anybody who has beaten that game actually enjoy the experience by the end of it? Because I've played Rechain of Memories, and the difficulty spike is incredibly unfair. Critical mode level one. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know there's a lot of mechanics to the to the latter Kingdom Hearts games, although there's also some mechanics to even the first one that make for playing on the hardest difficulty actually really fun and skill based, but. I think the only game that I've actually, like, done all the quests for was 3, and honestly, that's- that's all I care about. Be with Terra? Okay. Yeah. Right! Birth by Sleep is the one with the- with the characters. The other characters. The not Sora. <laughs> The characters that are not Sora or Riku or anybody else that was established. I actually like I've I've talked about it. I've talked about it on stream before. Um I'm not a fan of that guy's writing, mostly because he's, he can be pretty petty when he wants to be. But he can write good characters. He just ruins them by shoehorning in other characters because he hates the fandom. <laughs> you know, that all-encompassing amalgamation of an entity that cannot be stopped no matter what you do. He can design good characters, yes. He can get their heights completely fucking wrong, though. Oh my god. <laughs> if... If... Okay, so somebody ripped all the models out of Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Neat! Um... And this is for the PSP. Ah, yeah, because... Wasn't it also on... Wasn't Breath of Sleep also on the DS? Or am I crazy? I think it was on the DS, yeah. Um... He can get their heights totally wrong because uh, somebody ripped all the character models, and I mean like all of the character models, from Kingdom Hearts 2 and lined them all up next to each other. 
and they were like, okay, so here's an estimation of all the characters' heights. Uh, I've decided, and they, I think it was something like they made, they made Sora like five foot something, because he's really short. He's, he's so much shorter than the other characters. So much shorter. But then, um, the creator was like, no, Sora's, Sora in two is like, four something, four foot something, which would mean that the tallest character, which I think is one of the members of Organization 13, would be eight feet tall or something like that. Or not eight feet, but it's just some, like, okay, that's right. He, they made him short, like, oh yeah, he's short. And it's like four, I got it backwards. He, they thought, oh yeah, he's like four foot something. They were like, no, he's like, He's like five foot, almost, like, oh god, what is it? Let me find the image, because this is really funny to me. And then there's like an image of this. Yeah, here, I think I found the exact image. So let me open the image in the new tab. Oh my god, stop lagging, game. Yeah, this is approximate height. Right? After Nomura's confirmed Sora's height to be 160 centimeters, 5'2", I immediately remembered this model comparison from KH2's models. If we convert Sora's centimeter height to pixels. We can use the centimeter to pixel ratio to calculate the centimeter height of each other character shown in the comparison, according to Kingdom Hearts 2's model ribs. So let me, like, zoom in- well, no. Let me just show this image. Okay? So these are the models. Making it a little bit bigger for you all. Sora is 5'2". How tall do you think this asshole is? <laughs> Lexeus is nearly eight feet tall. He is seven foot nine. If Sora is five two, he is seven nine. <laughs> Lexeus being this dude right here. Sora is so unnaturally short compared to the other character models. Bro, what? Can we all agree Aqua from Birth by Sleep is hot? That's the only thing we can agree on, because I hate her personality. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I don't... Okay, I don't- uh, let's, not, let's not go that far. I don't hate her personality. I do, however, hate everything that she does in Birth by Sleep as a plot, and then they go, Nah, Taros doesn't have PTSD about that at all. He totally is into her. Sure. That's believable. So today's Chariot again. And tonight is supposed to be Hierophant 2, but I've already done Hierophant 2. Do I have a Hierophant persona? Because I don't want to get accidentally behind. Her, her story is a bit... Yeah, it's... Um... I do have Hierophant. I have an Anzu. Perfect. I don't have to go to the Velvet Room. I like the character designs, like, visually, I mean, Organization 13 is not really a great example because they all wear the same clothes, but, uh, I like the character designs. They're fun. They're kind of goofy. <laughs> but... We're talking about the guy who does character design for most of the Final Fantasy series. As well as 
the world ends with you. You know. <laughs> if you've played a Final Fantasy game, you, you know. <laughs> he has he has some design choices that are very unique. <laughs> Some more ridiculous than others. Uh. I mean, that's a thing, though, is that I think birth by sleep, like, I don't, like, I don't want to talk, like, a crazy amount about a game that has nothing to do with the game that I'm playing, but that sort of just happens with me in general. The plot... And I hate the fact that I'm gonna say this. The there is a plot reason behind why Ventus's design looks like Roxas, because Ventus Roxas is supposed to look like Ventus, because when Ventus fell asleep, a portion of his soul was in Sora. So when Sora became a heartless and it created his nobody, his nobody looked like Ventus, not Sora. And then they, but then he like retconned that, and it was like no, because Venetus, which is Ra or Ventus's darkness, just looks like Sora. <laughs> also, Venetus's design is just Riku's design from Kingdom Hearts One with a helmet, and then when the helmet is removed, he's Sora with black hair and yellow eyes. <laughs> Like, it's interesting, but I'm pretty sure it's recycled. <laughs> Have you had the steak skewers? The meat is tender and delicious, and they hardly cost anything. It might not even be cow meat. Just kidding. Whoa, thinking about it? That's kind of gross. <laughs> the police are here. The then is this place really serving fake meat? Excuse me. Y yes I haven't eaten any of the meat today, I swear! Lately, there's been- <laughs> he doesn't even question it. There have been several incidents with a group of teenagers bullying people around here. Huh? Bullying? Extortion, if you will. Have you seen anyone suspicious? No, no one in particular. Hmm, I see. Well, you two be careful then. Bullying? In my town? No, it's such a peaceful little rural area. Nothing goes wrong here. There is no crime. There cannot possibly be a group of bullies hanging around. I'm glad it wasn't the meat. But still, bullying? What cowards, ganging up on the weak like that. Maybe it's that kid from earlier. Exactly. Agree with Chie. It's wrong. Because it is. <laughs> I'll grab him and make him apologize. Right, leader? Of course. Vigilantism. <laughs> Mowing down villains and saving the weak, a lone fi female fighter stands. To protect the town's peace, she throws herself into the battlefield, unbeknownst to all. Oh, yeah, that sounds cool. Zikun, leave it to me. Okay. Oh, I'd feel better about it if you helped. And it'd make me... kind of happy. Chie seems somewhat embarrassed. Only somewhat, though. <laughs> you feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. You are officially besties. You are a higher tier of bestie because you have left your bestie Yosuke in the fucking dust. All social links guide. 
Everybody on a first playthrough always min-maxes Yosuke. You don't need any social stats to do it. But no, this 100, this all social links in a single playthrough guide. Is this is new game plus. That is a hot take, TL. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's, mm, <laughs> that is a hot take. <laughs> if you said Teddy. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> don't think, feel. Hmm. Right? Actually, in this case, would it be don't think, eat? What? <laughs> Hello, Crim. <Later>. <laughs> that's a that's a hot take. <gasps> Discord oh, mod oh, levels oh. of cringe. No, I can't make food! Oh, I just bought these shoot shit. Are these worse? Oh, no. I forgot that I bought shoes. Are the Kintabi go- mm. <laughs> And I got two of those. Okay, don't buy weapons off of Tanaka's Amages and Commodities. There is nothing to be gained from that. I I genuinely don't know where you where you get that idea from. But Mostly because only this such exists. <laughs> oh yeah! Are you gonna give me money? Hey, how much? Ooh! Thank you. Let's hang out, though. Hey! This is... Rank... Th three. Yes, this should be rank three. Because I did this early. That will fund our soda collection as well, yes! Yeah, the magazine thing? I mean, maybe it's been blitzed from everyone's memories, but the reason why Kawakami becomes a social link is because Ryuji finds the poster about the maid service and has the wherewithal to understand the implications of that it's not just a cleaning service, and you and you, him, and Mishima go to an empty apartment room in his complex to call the service. <laughs> I'm a dad. <laughs> I forgot that was a dialogue option in that scene. Sajima's oh. probing stare hurts. Nothing wrong with that, of course. More tame. More tame. He's no. Morgana is more tame because Morgana focus hyper focuses on one character, but. Yeah, Teddy is very, very flirtatious. Granted, I think we're I think we're taking into consideration like his behavior in like the sequel spin-offs, in which there is no starting point of the I'm not really sure. He just is like whole ham fisted, yes. Yes. Whammon! Teddy just needs a fedora. <laughs> Why do you make so many trips to and from the electronics department? I've probably in total only done it like four times, dude. Add. 
Oh, duh, this isn't what you think. I'm not interrogating him. It's not fair. You're always talking with Big Bro. What? I mean, today you're home, but... I always talk with you. When is always? I... I want to talk. Nanako rubs her eyes sleepily as she says it. <sighs> it's bedtime for you already. Go to sleep. I'll play with you next time. I'm here to take your social. You promised. He breaks his promises all the time, Nanako. No, Nanako, no, it's our turn with the Dojima. <laughs> One is always, huh? Where? Let me scroll, because I don't want to get this wrong. Oh my god, the next time I hang out with you is on the 9th! At least, I think. No, there aren't. Wait, hold on. Hierophant. This is Hierophant 3, I'm pretty sure. Let me just take control F on this. Any, and then 2, 3. Okay, got it. <laughs> Dojima is really bad at talking to Nanako. Uh, not good with kids. No. I mean, I am bad with kids, but that's not the problem. <laughs> oh my god, Tajima. Truth is, I mostly left raising her up to my wife, mother. So, don't really know how to approach her. He just has no idea what to do. Plus, I'm not fit to be her family. Fit or not, your family. Hmm. Maybe you're right. A okay. Let me go back up to where Hierophant Two was. There we go. Because that's actually the 24th. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Is, is like, I I, per I perceive Dojima as that he's trying. But. It's just, it, uh, like, I feel like some people don't get this. Finally, Riley, yeah. <laughs> Being a single parent is hard. It's a very, it's a very common phenomena that single parent households, they're just, just, they, in order to be able to provide, they physically cannot be around them. And that does affect children negatively, which is why there should be systems in place to better support single parents. Because it's... it's difficult. But there are times where it's more of Dojima just not knowing how to approach a system. Like, how to approach Nanako. And Nanako... the only thing Nanako wants is to talk. And to hang out with her dad. But he's so... just not used to it. That he's... more afraid of messing up than just his fear of just of messing up makes him not interact with her which he doesn't realize because there hasn't been anyone with an outsider's perspective to tell him like hey she she really cares about you 
really doesn't matter what you say. It's just, it's like you're avoiding her because you're afraid of making her upset, but by avoiding her, you are making her upset, and he doesn't... It's like, man. Man. I think just by, just being related by blood makes you family. It's not the case. I actually agree with that statement. However, your application of it needs some... You need help. You require assistance, Dojima. That is indeed rank 3. Nice. Yeah, Futaba's entire situation is like, what? I mean, I don't feel like that should impact how whether or not you should whether or not you feel bad for for Taba because the whole like Sojiro's social link is really puts into perspective of like why Futaba would have developed that. Like, it isn't solely her mom, the, like the situation surrounding her mother. It's also her extended family who should care about her because of blood ties to them treated her like dirt. Sorry. It's hard to trust people when your childhood is when you when during your during the earliest stages of your childhood you were treated lesser than a human. Like you I feel like there are that there would be some serious trust issues in place. Night. Like, it's a... I will say I'm not a huge fan of the social links, but it does give a nice, like, perspective on the tertiary characters. As well as give you a little more with the, with the story characters. But we've seen from Persona 2 that you don't need to have social links in order to showcase a character's story. The tutor, the tutor, <clears throat> words. You need understanding. Yeah, but you don't have much of that either. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that went, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm behind on your social link too. I don't know if I'm hanging out with you today. It's the 25th. It's Priestess 2. Tower. Yes. Tower SL. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. I was trying to say tower and tutor at the same time. <laughs> uh, decide later. Tartar sauce, Link. She's not very happy with me, but also she's like rank 1. Um... If you have not done the moon flag event, today is the day to make it up. I have done the moon flag! <coughs> Shh! No. No. Uh, first floor. Angrily starts drinking water. Do I have a priestess? I think I do. I think, yeah, hi pixie. <laughs> oh, feels kind of. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> well, it's like I was showing. I was showing Heart and Scarf Tales of the Tales of series, and it's like, despite having a cast of up to nine characters, Symphonia does a pretty decent job giving character development for every single one of them. Some a little more than others.
But I still think they work with everyone a fair amount. And Persona 2 has only like four people. Five. <clears throat> four for most of it. You're really supposed to be more familiarized with uh, Maya, Ulala, Katsuya, and Baofu. Since the game does kind of rely on you having played Innocent Sin, so there's not as much for Tatsuya. But there's still enough for him where you can you can latch on to him as a likable character without having played Innocent Sin. I also like the message that Persona 2 gives, both for Innocent Sin and for Eternal Punishment. Because it gives both perspectives of, yeah, it's kind of just hard to be a person in society. <laughs> Whereas Innocent Sin, it's like you're a, you're in high school and it's like, I don't know what to do with my life. And then Eternal Punishment is the opposite side of that of adults who, on the surface, look like they've got it together, but really they don't. Yeah, yeah. I need to find a way to play Persona 1. Yeah, we've talked about this, right? Is there an official way to per play Persona 1 anywhere that's not the original? Yeah, PSP, but... <coughs> you laid down. Emulation. <laughs> that is- <laughs> that is the t the, the antithesis of of official, but... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it seems Yukiko has bought a book about job certifications. Thank goodness, that was the last one. Sensei recommended this book to me because it has details on a bunch of different job licenses. Uh, This is Priestess 2. Any, okay. Going to apply for one? Uh-huh. Uh, that's right. Yep. How come? Inside the TV, the other me said she didn't want to inherit the inn. I think those were my true feelings. So I've decided to be a little more true to myself. History is the most famous monster. There are a number of reasons that they're not they're not huge on Persona 2. There's a financial reason attached to why they don't do anything with Persona 2. Mostly that Atlas would have fucking sank if it weren't for Persona 3. So that new system makes it hard to like, I don't know. I do wish that there were just ports of the game. But hey, the poll. The poll. Clearly they're still favoring their more f their uh they're leaning on their more favorite of the two, but they can't ignore the fact that the duology tied with Persona 3 for most like most wanted to get a remake. But we've also already had a very long-winded conversation of it's a very dangerous game to play to if they were to take up the task to remake Persona 2. Is that, will they respect the original intent? Or will they ruin it to modernize the game? Even though I don't think the plot would have would work if it were uh, like that. Yeah, well, socially, and then there are some combat things that I feel like you'd have to work really hard. Because we've talked about, like, the combat of Persona 5. As satisfying as it is, I don't want to see that type of combat for Persona 2. Yeah. Yeah. 
I want contact. I want... I want to approach a demon and have Katsuya make weird motorcycle noises with his mouth. <laughs> Not knock all the enemies down and threaten them. <laughs> so in order to live on my own, I'm thinking of getting a job license. I was thinking of something along the lines of an interior decorator. What do you think? Priestess two sounds good. Yes. Come on, Yukiko, you don't need my approval. Make your own choice. I mean, I understand the opinions of others, especially those that you trust, is helpful, but don't make your, all your decisions based on how I feel about them. But it's hard. It costs money to get a license. And of course, I can't tell Mother. Why can't you? If only there was a part-time job you could do discreetly. I suppose there was a chance to sh approve. You remember that there are part-time jobs posted on the bulletin board at the shopping district. Really? I'll go check the board then. Seems you were able to help Yukiko. If Persona 1 gets remade, do not touch the characters. I feel like if any game gets remade, do not touch the characters. I feel like that's a given. You can fold things for money. Yes, you can make cute little birds. And they'll pay you for it. I wish there was a job like that when I was in, like, middle or early high school. What a weird job you could get. Origami, or making envelopes. It's just like super boring busy work, but it gives you pocket change. You think they put way too much character development for the main cast within the social link? Uh, yes. That is, unironically, an issue. Like, unir like genuinely. This is an issue in both 4 and 5. Where they have their, they have their, like, story moment in a chapter, but you learn more about them in the social link. Which is, again, another reason why I don't feel like 2, um, I don't feel like 2 would thrive if it was remade to include social links. Because the character's, de the character's development is tied to the plot. Persona 3 gets away with it. Because the character development is tied to the story. Literally, in the social links, especially for your party members, it's only an opportunity so you could date them. Which I'm not a fan of, personally. But that's all they do. They give you just a tiny bit more about them, but in all honesty, their real character development is, the pl is through the plot. And for most of them, has nothing to do with the protagonist, and most, the protagonist is not even present. Akihiko's is on his own. Ken's is through Akihiko's help. Yukari's is after Fuka shows the unedited version of her dad's final message. Mitsuru is, th is through Yukari. Fuka's is unrelated to any character that's in the party. Koromaru doesn't need one. Junpei's is probably the most emotional, as there is actual plot happening all around you right before a fucking boss fight. Like, I've, I've, I've talked about Persona 3 and how I feel like the mechanic was created for the story that they wanted to tell, and then 4 and 5 just kept going with it because it was so popular. Completely missing the point of why the social links are a thing in the first place. I'll 
see you later. Because Persona 3 is, is no matter the journey, the ending stays the same. Welcome home. It's what you make of the time you have in this world that impacts others. Yeah, but the SL with the fox, though, yeah, that all, like, I, I will say, some of them are fun. It's just... It's like... Everyone that you interact with, even the bad ones in Persona 3, they grow as a person. It's not its not the character growth of the protagonist, it's the character growth of the people that they interact with. Like, whether you do some social links, all social links, or none of them. Makoto Yuki dies and makes the ultimate sacrifice. But... Oh gosh, the emulator lagged. Everything lagged. I'm sorry? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the fact that they... The fact that they have their own lives can't always be in the main character's vision at all times. There are opportunities where you could go to Tartarus where they tell you they're not available right now. They're gonna do something with friends and they don't want to stay up till midnight. They have identities that are separate from the main character. But, like, the social links exist because of, like, interacting with the people. They're more for the tertiary cast members than the party members, which... Yeah, because you can only social link the opposite gender. Because it's like... The point of the social links is for the- is, is to tell that message of you could live your life without having interacted with anyone. You could- you could live your life being the most benevolent human on the planet. Everyone dies. And Persona Q kind of reiterates it by telling, like, the whole... The fact that the fact that you lived is enough. And that because Rey interacted with people, like the nurse or uh, the, other, the other patient that, sh that was in the hospital with her, she impacted those people's lives by being there. So even though she didn't have some grand thing about her life, the fact that she lived means that her life had value. And then Perso- and then there was like, oh my god, a Tome game in my JRPG? Fuck yeah! And they were like, oh, I guess that's what we'll be doing for the rest of the series forever now. Uh, what am I doing? I'm apparently reading The Gentle Way. But that ups knowledge, so I'm not going to do that. Nanako! Hey, big bro. Why do people die? Oh. Right, this is the one that required... You needed expression. Give me a second. No, 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 don't worry about it. I just need to see what your social link level is so I can actually map to the correct one. Justice rank four! Got it! Also, can we get a boss that's not God? Pretty sure every single final boss in every single Persona game has been a God. <laughs> so I don't know if that's possible. Hey, big bro? 
I'm blocking the TV. In Shin Megami Tensei, that's where the trend started. Yeah, I, like, fighting a god is just kind of the thing. It's kind of just the thing you do in Shin Megami Tensei. Now, I will say, uh, I think Persona 5's God is a little contrived, and while Strikers is a superior game to the original and Royal, in my opinion, it still does the same thing. <laughs> We're talking to Nanako about death. Nanako is nodding her head cheerfully. Anything else? Well... Um... Oh, there is! What happens to a person when they die? Go to heaven. <laughs> so it is true. Mommy went to heaven. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, I saw this on the news. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? I don't know. I see. You're not a bad person, so I guess you wouldn't know. Well... <laughs> and you're a the tap. Yes, he's a god, but... <laughs> He is the accumulation of people's shadows. <laughs> he's an amalgamation of them. <laughs> so he's technically a shadow. <laughs> Hence why he can do the the I look like you now. <laughs> I look like you, but I put on red eyeshadow. <laughs> But if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. Last year, there weren't many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to Dad than I am? He's protecting you. I don't get it. Seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness stoically. You feel that you understand a bit of Nanako's loneliness. Cause like... Persona as a series... I don't- I can't say anything with certainty for one, but it's always been... It's always contained social commentary on society at the time. Even the ones such as 3, 4, and 5 where... They're set a little bit in the future from when the actual game's release date is. Um, they still are reflecting science, society in the present. Because you can't really predict the future. Although for Persona, that's actually the reverse. Um, because, I, because the game dates itself by talking about Electric fans. <laughs> fans without blades? You're crazy! No. No, we're really not. <laughs> so I, I love- I love that- that- I guess that was just a thing of like, Oh yeah, we have a- we have a fancy- touchscreen phone that can access the internet readily in her pocket, but oh my god, a, a house fan that you plug in that doesn't- that doesn't cool a room without blades? Preposterous. <laughs> the inv the advancement of technology, everyone. <laughs> oh, so by the way, I was supposed to do this in, uh, July. Justice 4 was the 24th <laughs> of July. <laughs> I am very ahead of the game. I think we were supposed to do... 
Justice 2. No, it was supposed to be Justice 3, but that's fine. Oh. Today is the 26th. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Today is Paristus 3 and Hierophant, not 3. <laughs> Stop trying to flip the bowl. Yo! When am I gonna hang out with Yosuke again? <laughs> Ooh, do I have a mo- um, a moan? A moon persona? I don't have a moan persona. This is so sad. It's an arcana that doesn't exist. Civilizations coexisted with rivers, but Egypt was a special case. It was, actually. In order to predict when the Nile would flood, they created a calendar. Egypt introduced a math to measure the land. Oh, it is you, Z. I thought it was someone else. Should, Atlas, should have Atlas make a Persona movie? Crazy? But there's already- <laughs> there's already Persona movies. <laughs> the Persona 3, the movie, is a thing. Granted, it's- it's a retelling of the game and it's in, like, three parts. They did do- they did do it before. But that's the thing. I don't know- I don't know if you could condense a JRPG into a movie. Like, even Persona 3, which people really liked, is in multiple parts. Because there's no way they'd be able to condense the entirety of the game into one singular movie. But it's also dangerous to make... It's also dangerous to make a movie that's expected to have sequels because you can get a situation like Avatar, the movie adaptation of... The Last Airbender, or I'm sorry, I guess it was called The Last Airbender, but it was the movie adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender that was setting up for a sequel, but did so bad at the box office that we will never get it. <laughs> Ever. And that's not even a video game adaptation, that's, an a that's a movie adaptation of a TV show. <laughs> A dense sem- oh yeah, here's the Persona 3, uh, cameo. My older brother was like that. A dense samurai with no respect for the ancient civilizations. He only cared about the Sengoku era. My ne nem's nemes headdress is so much more elegant. <laughs> hmm? You, you didn't think I'd catch you spacing out, Mr. Hanamura. Tell me, what kind of writing system did the Egyptians use back then? Or Dark Tower, based on Stephen King book series. Ooh. Uh. One movie and it failed. Writing system. <laughs> you wanna know what kind it was? Sacred <laughs> carvings. Give him the answer you think is correct. Oh, so you've been doing your reading. I'm impressed, Mr. Hanamura. You're right. Egyptians use sacred carvings, also known as hieroglyphics. Thanks, Z. I guess I should open the book for this class sometime. Yosuke appreciates you. Eh. Maybe that's why we don't hang out with Yosuke. You gotta wait for these, so that way his, uh, he gets some brownie points by like, Hey, the answer is this. <laughs> Because I don't think we hung out with Chie for a while until we had, like, one or two of those. It also means that I don't think they can go in reverse, because they do get points constantly. Classes have ended for today. Amazing! Today's... Priest is three, but I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to check my personas and see if I have moon. Nope, I do not have moon. Let me grab one. Let 
But yeah. Also, a very, very important... Wrong place. Um, a very, very important thing to denote when it comes to movie adaptations of anything. The subject material has to be popular enough that a movie adaptation would not seem strange. I am remembered of a crime against humanity that's coming up soon involving Silent Hill. I hope the movie is fun for the people who enjoy the movie. I'm just very sad that the movie is the reason why we're getting all this new content. Wow, I don't have anything lower than Andrew. Luckily, I can afford him. <laughs> what is wrong with Silent Hill movies? Uh, the reason why Silent Hill 2 Remake, Silent Hill F, and Silent Hill Townfall are coming out, like, the reason why they exist is because the Silent Hill 2 movie is coming out. Konami said in their initial, like, showcase for it, that the reason why they're doing it is for promotional material for the movie. There's nothing wrong with the movies themselves, it just hurts to know that that's the only reason why there's any Silent Hill video game content. And it's also why they're specifically making Silent Hill 2. Because the movie is going to be about Silent Hill 2. So that's fun. <laughs> oh. Yes. So that yeah. And then on the other hand, like the recent string of movies that have been good have become um it's because the people who worked on them actually had a modicum of interest and research into the topics. Um, to make sure that they were being accurate and not just, like, using the video game franchise as a... as a recognizable, like, thing for people to latch on to. You can genuinely critique the Mario movie... And be like, yeah, the Mario movie was okay. There are a lot of people who weren't huge fans of the movie, because it's a little fast-paced. There's not really a congruent theme that that the plot follows. There's a bunch of sub-themes that just kind of get abandoned after the scene is done. However, the intent of the movie was to just have fun with it. And they clearly did. And they got... Pretty decent voice actors for a good portion of the characters. So it's an enjoyable experience. And then you have the Assassin's Creed movie. Oh. <laughs> 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 So yeah, when it comes to movie adaptations of video games, just because the recent ones have been good does not mean that we should treat it as a blanket. I don't know why you singled out Assassin's Creed. It has so little to do with the actual game that it may as well have been a different movie entirely. <laughs> like the only thing that is, Assassin's Creed is the, is the, we are going to hook you up to a machine that will project your consciousness into the past and you will be an assassin. In the past. 
but it's not unique in that regard or even the worst. <laughs> True, there are definitely worse ones out there. <laughs> but... I think the point still stands of like the, oh yeah, the, the Mario movie has been good. People liked Detective Pikachu. Uh, the Sonic movies were okay. All done by different people. All done by different- all handled by different individual groups, even if they were handled by the same movie-making studio. For those that were. Um... So you can't just say, ah oh, yes, these movies were good, therefore all future video game adap- movie adaptations of video games will be good. Because that would require every single movie adaptation of a video game to be made by the same group of people, with the same goal in mind, doing the same level of research, and having the same amount of care and attention put into it. Regardless of subject matter, which is just not possible. Uh, making dinner at the inn? Huh? No, I'd never dream of it. I don't think my food's nearly good enough to serve the guests. Despite saying so, Yukiko looks happy. I was just thinking of practicing my cooking. Since I've decided to leave town, eating out all the time is bad for you, right? So I'm going to get some practice while I can. Uh, good luck! Yes, thank you. It's just, I don't know. There are some. There are some. I mean, the original Mario movie? That's a fever dream. That is not very good. That also sets it up for a sequel. Sets itself up for a sequel that will never happen. <laughs> the ambition. <laughs> So yeah, it just kind of like, it all weighs in on just like a, a number of things, a very, very large number of things that will impact the quality and value that people will see in a movie. I want someone to eat it and let me know how it is. I thought I'd improve quicker that way. And knowing you, I'd get an honest opinion. Uh-huh. Will you? This re this is a this requires points, by the way. I wouldn't be able to say count me in unless I had a certain stat which I think is courage. <laughs> I read someone saying that we will still remember that first Mario movie 30 years later as a fascinating failure, whereas in 30 years the new one will just be another animated movie. So I'd rather watch the original again since I haven't seen it since I was a kid. That is a- yeah, that- that would sum it up. I mean, uh, it's Illumination, right? Illumination did the Mario movie? Was it then? Who did the Mario movie? Help. Mario movie. Mario Mario movie, not the 93 film. It was Illumination? Why did it jump me to the bottom of the wiki page? Roop. Yep. I just wanted to be absolutely sure. sure. Illumination's system, and I don't fault Illumination for this, is to play it safe. They do really good adaptations of, of things. Like, they're also the ones responsible for the Peanuts movie, the most recent one, that nobody remembers because there was next to no 
marketing for that movie, even though people who watched it were like, yeah, it's actually pretty good. They're a lot nicer to their employees than some other animation production studios. Um, but their, their objective is always to be... Like, they're not aiming to make a movie that costs a lot of money. So it's like... They they go like low risk high reward, so they'll do they'll do something that that with a with a production that's ultimately a lot cheaper and safer, and if it makes them a lot of money, it makes them a lot of money, and they don't have as much to pay back. Like if you look at if you look at the cost versus like the gross of the film in theater for most of Illuminations, you'll note that in comparison to other animated movies they spend a lot less, like, significantly less. And it's not- it's not necessarily a bad business model to have, especially when most of the animated movies that they make are targeted to younger audiences. Um, so people are going to take their kids to the movies, and that's already, like, at least two tickets if it's just a parent and a single child. So it's like, I, from what I remember from people who know more about animated films and just movie, they're bigger movie heads than me in general, was like, they trusted that Illumination would make the Mario movie pretty. It would be a very pretty film, but it wouldn't have a super complicated or in-depth story because their marketing would be for younger audiences. Yeah, I don't- I don't imagine too many older audiences would- older- older people who enjoy the Mario games, even, would get anything out of it. Because... Its story is very simple. It's very fast-paced. And it's very colorful. Val is zooming. Why are we zooming? Oh my god, we are zooming. He just ran in and out of the room like three times. And he's barking. Val! Yes, he has zoomies. <laughs> yes, Puss in Boots 2 was a huge surprise. Oh my god. See, this is that's what we like with our animated films. I really, really, really want to watch it because I've seen some scenes from the movie. And not only visually is it an absolute treat, its story is not entirely just like, this is for kids. Because it talks about... real life stuff. I mean, even just from the trailer, the whole concept of is, is that Puss is aware of his own mortality. Which is not... A subject that's easy to explain, much less to children. But also the movie is gorgeous. Yes, I so badly want to watch. Kids would be terrified of some of that, yeah. But it has- it has something that both children and adults can, like, resonate with. As well as it- for me, who really likes art and animation, can just go, Oh my god, this movie is beautiful. Like, the- that first trailer of him fighting the- the rock giant, I was like, I'm sorry, this is- <laughs> what?
Someone replied to a comment I wrote on Discord with that. That that feels along the same vein of the... What was it? Oh, God. It was something like, my eight-year-old and I watch horror movies together, and he had been complaining recently that, uh... The movies that we've been watching weren't scary enough, so I decided to- we decided to watch The Descent, and you don't always know when you fuck up as a parent, but I did in that moment. <laughs> I feel bad for the kid. <laughs> Hmm, that's... Hmm... I... I mean, just... What do you find as woe here? Yeah. Nah, the... Yeah, that's like a... Hmm... <laughs> mm hmm... Your next words determine <laughs> determine a lot of things. Ideals shoved down your throat. I cannot my brain cannot come up with uh, any particular things. Any specific movie that may have done as what you're describing. Like, the people complaining on Twitter is just ignore them. But, uh... Probably have to elaborate a little bit more than that. And if you bring up turning red, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Welcome home. Hierophant... what would this be? Hierophant 4 if I rank up? Where are you? There you are. It is Hierophant 4. If I rank... if there is a rank up. If it's just a hangout, it's just a hangout. Hey. It was just a hangout. Gender identity? I'm sorry, that's not woke. I don't know where you're going with that. People who are straight is the film. <laughs> oh no! No, 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 none of that. <laughs> if you think gender identity is woke, oh, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> you are about to be in for a rude awakening. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this crazy thing. There is proof 
in history and in findings from graves dating back hundreds of years that reveal historical figures and individuals who identified as other genders. I need to find the article again. I could put it in the link and pick share uh, when I do. But there was a tomb that contained a grave of an individual that we do not know the identity of. We don't know their name. But based on the effects, the personal effects that were buried with the with the person, it is safe to assume that that individual in the modern age would have identified as non-binary. They existed long before the internet. Yeah, but claiming, saying that, and then claiming that having characters who are non-heteronormative in their gender identities or their sexual orientations. Now, I, did, I know you didn't specifically say that, but that usually also gets brought up as being considered woke. Saying that those appearing in movies is perceived as woke culture. Mmm... <laughs> Today is the 27th. This says Moon 2, but this is probably Moon sure. 1. Or maybe it is Moon 2. Let me look up Moon 1 to be sure. Because Moon 1 might have been the one that... Oops. That uh, didn't have any, like, rank up to it. Moon 1. Will not spend time. So this is Moon 2. I'm caught up again to Moon because uh, this person just did not hang out with Moon at all. <laughs> this guy just says, yeah, do Moon 1 and then don't interact with her for a month. <laughs> Today I feel like getting something that's easy to slip into. Hmm. It doesn't look like they've gotten anything new in. I already have all of this. Uh, two, don't question anything she says. I'll get something next time, but I want something today too. I came here to buy, not look. <laughs> Apparently she's enthusiastic. I did not read that as such, but... Hey. Hey, I'm thirsty. Buy me a nice latte. Buy <laughs> yourself! <laughs> Did you seriously just say that? You're probably the first guy who's ever taken that tone with me. <laughs> She's surprised. Oh, I turn your back again. Well, yeah. Are you looking for anything in particular today? Oh, we've got a purse that's just your style. The guys will be all over you. You don't like eyes, too? She has quite the tood. That's all right. I'm not shopping for purses today. Ibuki. <laughs> oh, is that your boyfriend? He's quite a handsome one. Are you going to introduce him to me? I've had the worst luck with men lately. We were at the bar the other night. Sorry, we've really got to get going. I'll be back. You returned to the station. I hate salespeople. I'm the one keeping them in business. Why do they have to pass?
pounce on me every time I go in because they're salespeople. I don't really like salespeople either, but I am more like, I don't really like the ones at the kiosk who like grab you. And are like, come over here to the center hall. And it's just like, no, please let me go. I should get rid of all salespeople and put in vending machines. Press a button and out come your clothes. I. There is. <sighs> maybe she's. Maybe she, it's reflective of the fact that that's actually a thing in Japan. That'd be kind of boring. <laughs> There's a vending machine in huh? Japan that is part of a restaurant chain. And it's a vending machine. It's a vending machine that dispenses burgers. I don't... I really don't think there needs to be an explanation as to why that's like... It's like, the idea is charming, and you would probably buy it once as like, a, oh yeah, that's cool, I got my burger out of a vending machine, but then it'll dawn on you that you just got a meal, even if it's fast food, out of a fucking vending machine. Yeah, salespeople are just people doing their job. At least she wasn't rude to the salesperson's face. As long as it's fresh and safe to eat. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing. There is the practicality of it. But at the same time, it's like... <laughs> I don't like that idea. It's just kind of like... It's not concern- like, I- there's the job perspective of- I, well, although I really don't think vending machines would replace people. Uh, it's like... <laughs> I don't know. Cause I I get I get nervous I I struggle with the drive through but I don't think I would I don't think I would enjoy just like bypassing interacting with a person and getting it stuff from a vending machine I would be like mm, <laughs> I don't know about that <laughs> she said you were handsome good for you I guess well okay <laughs> she's pouting. You feel like you understand I a little bit better. You got McDonald's drive through earlier? How is it? I have had mixed luck with drive through um, at McDonald's, like, over the course of my entire life. It's what trained me to be very, very particular and always check before leaving, um, like, the contents of the bag, which you should just do anyway, because McDonald's is not the only one that's done that. We recently went to, like, Popeyes and ordered this huge thing of chicken tenders and like six biscuits and when we when I went back to the car because it was cur well it wasn't curbside it was walk-in pickup I we checked the bag before leaving and it's like yeah we didn't get the biscuits so I came back with the receipts and I was like we didn't get our biscuits and then they gave me one extra as an apology And it was nice, because I, then I got seven biscuits instead of six. It was very cool. <laughs> At most, three orders messed up. A very, a very acceptable correct to incorrect ratio. That's, that's good! Ah! You've been lucky with them not forgetting anything entirely. Yeah. Oh, goodness. It's just like... They're just people... Doing their job... Dealing with bullshit... Getting paid minimum wage... They really don't need your attitude Welcome to be home. added to the mix of things that are... 
happening in their day. <laughs> So even if they, like, mess up something or it takes a really long time. It said save failed, but it literally just says that the save succeeded because that that's not the date that it was before I hit save. That's pretty funny. Um, it said 527 even though it said save failed, but I still saved again anyway. Your, your friend's husband works at McDonald's and you've heard tons of stories. Oh my god, I can only imagine. I mean, I've, I've seen, I think if, I don't know, I can't really say, if, I can't say everyone's seen this, but most people may have heard about the 4chan, like, Taco Bell guy who was the manager at a Taco Bell and the lady was, like, so mad. In her order, she was like, make sure you put on extra red sauce because last time they didn't give me extra red sauce. And so he was like, she wants extra red sauce. Make sure there's as much extra red sauce on that burrito as, or taco as possible <laughs> so <laughs> so they put as much red sauce in the thing as humanly possible and so obviously she drives off and goes to eat it and then they, she comes inside the establishment later saying you put too much red sauce it got all over the seat of my car i need to speak to the manager and the guy's like i am the manager <laughs> So yeah, sometimes those people get their, sometimes those people get their comeuppance, but most of the time, those, like, employees, especially if they're not in a manager position, can't afford to respond with the same level of sass. So it's like, uh, depends. We're hanging out with Monaco. It says we're not going to. But, uh, this is either just a regular hangout or a Nanako 5. Might be Nanako 5. Justice 5, rather. It is. It is Justice 5. Oh, he can talk to people like that? Hell yeah. <laughs> Justice 5. Right? Because Justice 4 was... Uh, can it actually take me to Justice 4? Can it take me to that? Ah, yes. It is Justice 5 today. Somebody went to the ER during the morning? Oh my god. I hope that person is okay. a documentary about a young man searching for his real father. Nanako is staring into the TV. Real father. Hey, big bro. I've I've seen that. I've reprimanded. I've re okay. I'm a, a, a little peek behind the curtain, and uh, I'm sorry, Dad, but. I don't know, this was just, like, sort of bullshit. Even though he wasn't particularly rude to anyone, I still wanted to point out to him that he was being kind of petty. He wanted food, um, at a fast food place, and it was taking a really, really long time for his order. And, uh, he, he was like, oh, it's just taking a really long time. And then, um, his order didn't happen, so he had to go back to the to the front to be like, hey, I didn't get my order, and I ordered it an hour ago. And so they're like, oh, sorry about that. Uh, the person manning the orders had a panic attack and had to leave. And so he had to reorder his food. And he was telling it like he was so inconvenienced by this person. And I was like, I'm sorry, you're being a dick.
And I told my own father off because... What the fuck? Be nicer to people in workplaces, especially blue collar. Because you don't know what they're going through, and... Kindness goes a long way. Kindness and understanding. Nanako is being wholesome. No, Nanako is not being wholesome. Nanako is being sad. <laughs> Your takeaway was being understanding of people who have medical emergencies. Yes. <laughs> Definitely that one. It was just, it was a very surreal experience having to tell someone who is related to me by blood that, like, I had to, ex that I had to explain that people don't just choose to have panic attacks because if they could, they would choose not to. And that can be applied to anyone who has serious medical emergency. During the movie and someone was being an asshole about them. Yeah. It's, uh... I mean, it's that, it's like that lack of understanding. Generates that, fr generates frustration because they don't, uh, they can't comprehend it. However... <laughs> When it breaches that, like, I don't get this, and goes into just, I don't care to learn about this, therefore, I think I'm going to apply the- I'm going to apply my knowledge on it, which at times is non-existent, and make judgments on other people based on that incorrect or non-existent knowledge, that's when we have problems. Because for some people, it can genuinely be hard to comprehend living with certain, like, health conditions th that they don't have, but you don't need to know what it's like to be empathetic. Shit, I got distracted. Is this the second question, or is this the first one? Or is this the third one? Oh god. Did I save? I did save. If this is not three, I'm going to be sad. Okay, god. Okay. Because <sighs> I was like, I was about to answer, you have me, but then I was like, that doesn't sound like something Nanako actually really wants to hear. And then I forgot whether I had, uh, I had, uh, it was the second one, or it was the... Yeah, okay. <sighs> Mommy. Why'd she leave me? When mom was still here, we all went out together. We picked flowers at Samagawa. <laughs> Level five. And then she asks one more question. It's about Nanako's bedtime. What should you do? That was a skill check, by the way. I wouldn't have been able to choose option three if it weren't for... I assume understanding. Also, I froze. Why did I freeze? I'm not moving. VTube Studio? 
my camera. Turn on? Okay, my camera, despite saying that it was on in VTube, was actually off. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, my webcam has, like, a blue light around it to indicate that it's on, and I often just kind of, like, skip over it because it's in the center of my setup, but it's, like, between my, my monitors instead of on top of them. So I just looked over at my OBS view because I do that occasionally. Uh, I do that actually kind of often. Every time I'm looking this direction, I'm looking at OBS or I'm looking at the guide. Um... <laughs> I looked over at the OBS view and I was like, I'm not moving. I'm still looking over the opposite direction and my mouth was stuck as being opened. And so I looked at my camera and I was like, ah, the blue light is off. <laughs> um, well, today I woke up. That's great, Nanako. I'm so glad. <laughs> That's... Uh, uh... It is the 28th. You printed out the guide? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's not July. What am I doing? I almost made a horrendous mistake. Uh, because I'm ahead on justice. So it's, it's in July, even though it's May still. 28th. Chariot! It was before you had iPhones, so you made the font a little smaller and printed four pages per sheet. So it was like 20 pages or so? Dang. Chariot. Chariot. Poor Yosuke is <laughs> waiting for us to hang out with him. I don't think I've ever been in a situation where Yosuke has been stuck on rank 4. I think by this point in the game, if I were going in, like, without following a guide, he'd be maxed. <laughs> Mostly because I wouldn't be able to hang out with, um, I, and I wouldn't actively choose to hang out with Strength. I wouldn't have been able to start Yukiko until, like, not too long ago, so Yukiko would be, like, rank 1 or something. Get wrecked, broske! No! <laughs> okay. Also, looking at, uh... Requests. Okay, the first available request... Uh... Besides the extracurricular activities, which is... Trance Twins in Yukiko's Castle. The personality of Baofu. I like Baofu, but dang! <laughs> That's a little mean. Uh, the next uh, request is available on the 3rd of June. Which is, please feed the cat. Speaking of, is that a cat or is that a bag? Is that her bag? I don't think so. Well, maybe. It's I, it's really hard to tell what that is. But break time was redeemed, so I am going to take a break. Pull up. Looks like a cat that has two legs coming out of its head. It's pro- it's a bag. It's a bag. There wouldn't be a cat on the school roof. This isn't Persona 5. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna take a break here. Probably mute that. So we can...
do more of Brand New Days, although I think it's almost done. Unless it's not. But yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. I will play ads in the meantime. Uh, but don't worry, they'll be done by the time I return, so... Instead, just take this as an opportunity, take a bit of a break yourselves. Stand up, stretch, get something to eat and or drink. Uh, and yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Also, uh, YouTube, just pause, because I forgot to pause the recording. Whoops. <laughs> Unpaused. <laughs> That's a little scary. Yo. I mean, so long as you are drinking enough water within a 24 hour period? Yeah, but I've seen speedrunners drink water in the middle of their runs. Granted, there are different types of speedruns, but like... Water's still good. Just be sure that I'm not crazy. Okay, yes, today is chariot. Water is very important, especially especially um, for speedrunners who... And that's kind of where Twitch sort of... Well, I won't say that's where Twitch thrives, because Twitch is a lot of things, but speedrunners and the community both those who actively participate, and those who enjoy just watching. Like, speedrunning is incredibly popular, and a lot of it has to do with live streams. It also generates a community of people who get interested in speedruns by watching speedrunners speedrun a game. I don't think I would ever speedrun, but I enjoy speedrunning, uh... Like, I enjoy watching speedruns because I enjoy... And this is, like, because of the specific things centered around why I like specific types of speedruns. I like the ones that are really... that are technical in that they have fun, um, not intended gameplay mechanics <laughs> implemented. Because not only is it entertaining to watch a game get absolutely busted because of something that is, uh, not intended, it's also just really cool because I like game devving, and I think looking at glitches and things that can be implemented for speedrunning is super cool. As you can see how broken the RNG manipulation is. Yep. Yeah, let's go. But it's like... Watching Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal or Rage or Fashion Police, Fashion Police Squad, uh, which all of which, by the way, are first-person shooters. Um, they're fun because uh, to watch because of like not only are you watching just really good gameplay, you're also watching silly little. Silly little mechanics like quick swapping or or quick reload, reload cancels, and things like that. Or you do something really amusing and just clip through the entire map. Even Doom 2016 100% involves clipping out of the map. <laughs> or I'm sorry, specifically... What is the hardest difficulty called? Ultra Nightmare? Yeah, 100% Ultra Nightmare. In, uh, even though that by the end of the game, you have to have all the weapon upgrades and do all the totem challenges and get all the secrets. Uh, there's a lot of clipping out of the map. <laughs> and it's fun to watch. It's super entertaining. <laughs> The Blade of Light. I, 
think Doom is also just a really good speedrun to watch because sometimes the game just is broken. Like the point, the point that's made by how fun that speedrun is is that sometimes even the speedrunners get surprised. Oh goodness, there's a clip. I need to find it. I was shown it. Uh, if you were in Dangerous's stream a few days ago, Sunday. There was somebody who was doing 0% for Doom 2016, and an acid from a different level loaded into the arena fight that the guy was doing. And nobody has any idea how or why, because no one had seen that happen before. <laughs> and by acid, I mean... It was a fight in... I think it was an Ur Argent Dinner. Uh. And there's a boss in like a few stages after that has a, uh, a boss called the Cyber Demon. And the Cyber Demon fight summons these walls. And so in the middle of this arena in a completely different level from where the Cyber, cyber Demon fight even exists. So the cyber demon even itself is could not be loaded into the map because it's not the correct level. The cyber demon wall spawned in in the middle of the arena fight. And nobody knows why yet. <laughs> it just kind of happened. <laughs> hmm. Which is also why speedrunning Doom 2016 is entertaining, because that game broken as shit. <laughs> there are so many mechanics and just things that are wrong with the game, but are, that just generate so much entertainment, both in, both from a casual and a speedrunning perspective, because... I don't think it's possible to play the entire game glitchless, because things just sort of happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, bullying. <coughs> that game is fucking broken. <laughs> wow, we've uh, we've actually brought up the uh Nick Nick skip for what is it? Fez? It's not in the original. It's it's specifically Fez. Where you start the devil social link on the last day and the game just fucking ends. <laughs> It's like, oh, hello. Credits. <laughs> oh, shit, it's May. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> but there's also speedruns that do fun things like using intended, uh, intended gameplay in an unintended manner. Like, uh... I watched an, an I watched a few Evil Within One speedruns, and there's this really great moment because it's intended gameplay, where um, there's a section right before Joseph gets grabbed by two of the zombie dudes to get beheaded via guillotine, and you're supposed to kill them before they can drag him to it, and it's usually like a timed event because there's also enemies that are, like, approaching you on the bridge that you're on, on the other side. Um, so it's a little stressful. In the elevator where they're having the conversation, in the speedrun, you shoot Joseph with the remote detonated bomb, like, crossbow, the bomb crossbow ammo, and it gets stuck to his model, but because there's no friendly fire, it doesn't go off. It's just stuck to him. So when, after the cutscene plays and he gets grabbed by those guys, they, because they are holding Joseph, are in proximity to the mine attached to the crossbow bolt, and they blow up. <laughs> so a segment that Usually because he starts off behind a wall that you can't really shoot from. Instead of waiting 30 to a, 30 seconds to a minute to be able to actually shoot the guys, it, the, sec the sequence just ends immediately. And I, I think that's beautiful. <laughs> Persona community found a debug room. In Fez? 
The way to get to the debug in Persona 3 Fez is by dying after you're done with the battle. Dang. I kind of want to try that. <laughs> Nice skip. It is. It's a very nice skip because it's just it's just funny. Is there a video on that? Of like them of them go getting into that debug room anywhere? I'd love to see it. Takeshi guy is kind of pathetic. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, that was fast? Sheesh. Come on, what's the matter? <coughs> Let's throw down. Huh? What's with the. Kick his ass, GA! The punks are aggravated by GA's taunt. Things aren't looking good. Uh, this is Chariot 7. Any. Fight them yourself. No. Uh, well, shit. Mm, ah, mm, ah, neither of these are really great. But, uh, hey, Chie, let's not beat up somebody in public. It would look really bad on our part. Neither of these feel correct. Just specifically, like, why do I have to fight them myself? Gang up with Chie. Work together. What? RPG Limit Break SMT3 event. Just, <laughs> just waiting for Chie to tear herself out. No! Chat! Stop scrolling! Let me pause the scroll so I can look- so I can copy-paste this. Copy. Paste. RPG limit break. Jim got me to say Nocturne. Whoop! In the Persona 3 segment. Okay, I will watch that later! I have the tab open with the thing. Thank you. I want to see the debug room. Hey, hold on, wait! They fled. What the heck? I'm running away when you step in. I know, it's incredibly sexist of them to be more concerned that I stepped in and not the fact that you are probably far more athletic than I am. I am so sorry. No, don't apologize. I was given one of two options, and neither of them were all that great. In fact, I don't even think I was paying attention when I made my choice. <laughs> Chie isn't captain of any team. <laughs> it's no trouble. Thank you. Your feelings are justified. Do not worry. Chie looks apologetic. They know your reputation. <laughs> You're right, huh? I gotta remember I'm not alone. It's always like that. Everyone's doing their best. I start to worry that it's all up to me, and I've gotta work harder. Dang, this is Chariot 7? We're gonna finish Chie before Yosuke. I've never had this happen before. Dang. Chie can catch them off guard because they underestimate her. Yes. I mean, she can kick hard enough that she launches an enemy into space. They should be afraid of Chie. <laughs> the 
the police just have to go to the to the parents of their child like what happened and it's like uh well um <laughs> They sort of, uh, left the planet's atmosphere. <laughs> what? That was not a very funny joke. I could have come up with something better. I'm sorry. Police hands parents a telescope. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> See for yourself. <laughs> you found the clip. I am a okay with you sharing it. So I may clip. I may click on it, and it'll appear in my browser, so I can watch it later. Glitch Showcase. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Thank you. I'm probably gonna share it. Uh... I may... I'll probably also share it in some Discord servers that I'm in, because I, th I think stuff like that is really fun. <laughs> I'm supposed to read today, but I can hang out with Dojima. I am going to hang out with Dojima. Because the gentle way does not up j diligence. <laughs> Words. Nice. Crazy chatty, but we, we talk about stuff t sometimes. I don't really have a dedicated speedrun page, but I, I do like talking gaming stuff. It's always fun, whether it's a new game showcase or somebody getting having something weird happen in their game. Or <laughs> just pictures, because I think the most recent one is the... Yes. <laughs> Cybers. Uh. Mm, that one's a little hard to be sh sure of. Maybe not all of them. If you get, like, a PB and want to, like, share, like, a screenshot of it, like, yeah. We can all celebrate the personal best achievement. But I don't know about a full VOD. Just because I don't have a huge area dedicated to that. It's in three parts. Ooh. That is long. So long as you don't do it, like, crazy often, if you want to just share that one, like, that one run... Sure. Okay, so this would be... That's not a go. Uh... Hierophant 4. Just that one run. Okay, yeah, then that's fine. I have given you permission. You may. In the... Uh, either in gaming or media, sure. 
Media share is at the bottom. But gaming is more relevant. I might add speedrunning, but I'm not a speedrunner, so I don't know. Oh. Maybe another time. I mean, no, I'm in a persona full. <sighs> but yeah, no, if, like in the future you get like a PB or something and you want to be like, yo, I got a PB. Hell yeah. I'm going- I'm basing this off of another Discord that I'm in that has a speedrun tab. Where it's like... They're either showing like a specific clip from a speedrun, or they're sharing a screenshot of their completed run. Mostly because it- can come off as promoting yourself in someone else's Discord, specifically mine, since we're talking about it. So. Pictures of your final times, I'm totally fine with. But like a whole VOD, I'm not sure. I need to find Hierophant 4. If this is even Hierophant 4, if it doesn't- if I don't rank up, hey. then, well. Ah. Yeah, speaking of, like, hey. earlier talks about speedruns where I brought up Doom 2016, any percent just got shorter. Let me find the conversation again. Yeah, they found a... They found another stupidly easy skip for Doom Any% Percent. It saves 20 seconds. The Any% Percent of Doom 2016, by the way, is hilariously short already, and the fact that they found another skip that's not crazy hard to perform and saves 20 seconds is super cool. <laughs> Let me find the conversation that they were having. Oh, I think it was actually in general, which means it's probably been buried at this point. But yeah, new any percent is significantly shorter and i think that's i think that's wonderful do, 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 do. i'm doing social link i was thinking of making coffee how do i take it two or four with cream huh huh <laughs> No, it's, well, it's just I haven't heard anyone ask for that in a while. Dad. <laughs> coffee! I don't know how much Nautico should be having coffee, specifically. We like speedruns. Alright, there's the third part. Dang! Normal ending, New Game Plus. It's just evening, it's early. Oh. <laughs> uh, did, was that ever debunked? The whole, like, um... You shouldn't drink coffee at a young age because it, it stunts your growth or something? 
I was- I was remember- I remember I was told that when I was in middle school that I shouldn't drink coffee. I don't really like coffee, so it didn't affect me. But if coffee stunts your growth, then tea should stunt your growth. And I drank a lot of tea. <laughs> and yet I was never told that. You don't have to do that. P3 Bruin. Yeah, then probably hold off on the Persona 3 Portable. Perhaps another time. I mean, I'm going to be playing Persona 3 Portable, inevitably. Because of exclamation point Persona Thon. And then they release Persona 3 Remake, and then Persona Thon doesn't actually end. Smile. <laughs> E. Because that'll be a first playthrough. I mean, I've played Fez multiple times, but Portable will be a different experience, because I'm going- I'm diving into the- into the, uh, female protagonist. Because... Well. <laughs> There's... If I've played Fez, what's the point of playing Portable as the guy? <laughs> Other than the achievements. <laughs> but Jimmy looks a bit embarrassed. It's okay, buddy. I was supposed to do this on the 16th of uh, June. It is the 28th of May. I am going to be done with these social links so fast. I'm so ready to see you die inside during Dungeon 4. Dungeon 4. If it doesn't include the liquor store, that's... Quest. That's Hero Quest, right? Dungeon 4 is Hero Quest. Unless you're counting the liquor store, in which then it's Marakut Striptease, but that's not really... The liquor store is not really a dungeon. It's not. Oh god, what is it? Who am I missing? Void Quest! Oh, okay. I thought it was called Hero Quest. Void Quest makes more sense. Yeah, the 8-bit the one, if you're doing Golden, uh, the final boss, or the boss for that dungeon's a bit, but the... Void Quest. Why are we calling it Hero Quest? Same idea. I was... I was right, I was just calling it by the wrong name. I can see how Void Quest would be not very fun in a speedrun manner. Took two of my revival items. Eesh. Watching TV. With coffee! Do you- Do you want us to move the coffee table closer, dude? You have to stand up completely in order to get your coffee. Oh, yeah. The Sigiris. Uh... Oh. I don't know how my encoding is overloaded, but whatever. OBS. Why is it that ha why is it that, that that's happening? What if I just do I don't like medium quality, but maybe that'll help the encoding issue. Amino Sigiri and oh yeah, Kimino Sigiri. The Sigiri. Not go turn the TV off. Oh no. Oh, okay. I mean, you could have just changed the channel, but he's not in a very good mood anymore. No. Um It's because they showed a story about a traffic incident accident. Whoa. Mom died in an accident. 
I don't remember it, and Dad won't talk about it. Nanako looks lonely. Ah, Nanako, no! Glorious, delicious, debilitate. And Yoshitsune, because it's Yoshitsune, right? <laughs> We all know what you- what someone who would fuse Yoshitsune would use Yoshitsune for. <laughs> it is the 29th? Yep! <laughs> no surprise there. <laughs> also, Toby is sort of like portrayed as being one of the worst moves when in actually, actuality it's the best. It is the 29th. Chariot and Strength. Go out with Chicho. Why do I need Chariot? Oh, it's Sunday. Am I gonna get called? Also, oh, that's Ko. Is he gonna call me, though? I'm doing soccer. Whatever, I have the personas for both. Yeah! Let's hang out. Okay. He's a boss killer. <laughs> EXP vacuum. <laughs> Nido bookstore. I guess Chie is supposed to show up during this. What did you buy? A comic. Nice. What did you buy? Uh-oh. Got the wrong one. Lovely witch detective. I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know you read those kinds of books. Shut up, Ko. <laughs> yes. I am very familiar. <laughs> we had a lot of fun with that during Yukiko's dungeon. <laughs> It's a dangerous game to play, running around a dungeon by yourself, but... Hmm. You benefit from it. Covers looked exactly alike. Hi, Chie! You three all together? Just guys being dudes, hanging out. Also, I just realized, Ko has... Holiday clothes, so not school uniform, but Daisuke does not. Dude, <laughs> it's Sunday. Wear something else. <laughs> but I guess you never know when you're gonna have to- When you're gonna be struck with the urge to practice soccer. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm. Training? Uh. Training? Huh. You're the man, Chie. Hell no! <laughs> nice. Neat. Yeah, I don't- like... That's the thing with speedrunning the later Persona games, is that you'd have to pick and choose what are the most beneficial social links to your party. And Chie is... very strong. <laughs> very strong. So we apparently finished the gentle way, which I don't need. I'm going to save and hang out with Dojima again. And then when it tells me that I'm supposed to hang out with Dojima on certain days, I'm not going to know what to do with myself, because I'll be done with his social link. Hmm? You thought about asking about Nanako's mother. With your current level ex of expression, you may be able to get something out of him. This is... What did I just do? Which one did I just do? Mm. 
What higher? Well, I guess I could just back out of this. Night. I know I literally just hung out with him. Okay, it's rank five. Hyro five. Cool. Yeah. Hmm? And the normal ending, I'd imagine for... I mean, that's why it's a category. <laughs> it's a lot shorter, because you're just like, We did it, guys! See you guys when I have time, bye! <laughs> Seems Sojima is looking for something. It was there before. Damn. These damn kids. Don't they teach them how to file data anymore? Sorry. I'm sorry, I wasn't talking about you. Uh, can I help? No. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Another wry smile. Just go to sleep. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Unless it's a day that I can do another nighttime social link, in which then I will totally do that. <laughs> Get ahead and be others. It was falling apart, so I made a copy, but the copy seems to have gone missing. There's a certain case where we don't have a suspect yet. And since the trail's going cold, it's about to be buried under newer cases. During a true ending run that ended up being a normal ending run. Dang. I mean, at least... Um... By accidentally messing up and leaving, you can- you still get a run-in. Because it's not, like, golden. Um... Where there's a bunch of extra content and you need to specifically... Uh, hang out with Marie in order to get the- In order to be able to access the true ending. Also, there being not one, but two extra dungeons because of that. But, yeah, accidentally messing up and then getting the normal ending, it's like, dang. Only, only in a Persona game. <laughs> Can't give up on this one. Ever. Ojima has a cornered look on his face. This doesn't seem to be the time or the place to ask more about it. At least it's a run. Yeah, at least it's a valid run in a category. <laughs> Imagine messing up in a different speedrun, and that just, like, instantly invalidates the run, and you're like, oh. That, I've seen that happen to people, where they're, like, near the end of a run, and they do something that in that makes it invalid, and you're just like, this is very sad. The board has no normal ending run. That's lame. That's the mod- that's the- that's the speedrun mods for that- for the board's fault to not have a normal ending. Because Persona 3 has a normal ending, does it not? Well, I suppose there, there's like the good- there's a normal ending and the bad ending. But it's like... Both New Game and New Game Plus. I mean, I understand not wanting to have too many categories, but... There should be a- there- I feel like there should be a normal ending, because normal ending is- I, I mean, I, I suppose the only logic that would separate that is that there's not that big of a difference for Persona 4. The only thing is a single dialogue choice. But still, if there's ult if there's other endings in a game, and they're- and they are, like, earlier or later- based on choices you make. I 
theoretically, that should qualify as being a category, but I'm not a mod for Persona 4 speedrunning on speedruns.com, so... What's wrong? I guess that would explain why, like, in Royal, you have to go Maruki route. You can't do Yaldabaoth ending. Because last I checked, I'm pretty sure there's not a category to do Yaldi. You have to do... You have to do Maruki. And Nanako is not okay. Man. The medicine we used before is... And then he gets a call! Gotta go, the medicine should be in the first ki aid kit she's in your hands. I know the whys, but man, that was what I- that one is what we would call a... Got your priorities wrong moment. Are you okay? Sorry. Thanks. Rank five. Go hit the hay. Good night. Good night, Dojima. Oh my god, it's only been three hours, but I'm already so tired. <laughs> Social links make me sleep. <laughs> That's probably not a good one. That's not a good social link to come off of when I say that, but... <laughs> like, oh yeah, this really intense... A heart-wrenching moment happened, and I just go, oh, I'm really tired. <laughs> Social links make me tired. <laughs> it is the 30th. Well. Scroll back up. Oh, hey, today is Priestess. Cool. We're gonna hang out with Yukiko today. I think Yosuke has stopped asking to hang out. I really hope you're not in reverse, buddy. I don't think you can be because of the way the game is set up around his social link, but... I would be devastated. <laughs> Ah, yes, Moroka. He's out there dicking around all day long. <laughs> the cart! The senses deceive from time to time, and it is prudent never to trust wholly those who have deceived us even once. We don't need society's trash like Tatsumi here. Uh huh. Okay, sure, whatever you say, dude. I listened to the lecture intently, and I learned that my teacher is an asshole. <laughs> wow. So much knowledge. <laughs> uh. Well, he's... He's still... Okay. Need to do sun again sometime. 
But I guess this thing is like spaced out so where they stretch it to the absolute limit before somebody goes in reverse. Oh. You can only ignore a person for so long. Yes. But I'm a very busy individual. I hang out with so many people every single day. I have no free time. My free time is spent with other people. I am going to regret this. Do it sometime. Yes, I plan. Yukiko handed you a handmade boxed lunch. Um. It came out well, so I packed it up. Try it out. Looks normal. It doesn't smell normal, though. Only the Persona 4 Golden Board has any percent. Really? That's... Not vanilla. Only golden. Yeah, any percent is a really common category, so it's bizarre to find a game that has a speedrun that isn't any percent. Alright, let's eat. Yes. Even though vanilla has a bad ending, yeah. Weird. I mean... A speedrun is moderated by its moderators, and if they don't want any percent, then what can you do? But that is still bizarre. It's actually soft. There's something too hard to bite on the inside, and it smells burnt, yet it's raw. You worry that your body will reject the foreign matter. Oh, suck it up, protagonist. You eat garbage found in the back of your fridge. We're finally able to swallow it. You're not about to tell me how delicious that was, are you? <laughs> oh, Yukiko looks sad. It's like how Persona 3 Portable has any percent, but not Fez or base Persona 3. Huh. That's... Dang. Uh, there's always the next time. Be reassuring. Thank you. I didn't die. <laughs> it was just... That... The... Yeah. You... There was something burnt in here. <laughs> Fez ain't bad of a speed game. But there's no... But there's no any percent. Yeah, it's oh, just kind of like bro. an interesting choice. And I mean, what can you do? Because people can make categories out of anything, but like that's why the S that's why SRC is not a is not an end all. Like, if you want to make a category for a game, it doesn't have to be on speedrun.com. You could just do it and be like, yeah, and then if other people were like, oh, that seems like a fun category, and they choose to pick it up, then yeah. It is nice to have, like, a place for your runs, like, on a website, but speedrun.com is not official in any capacity. And trust me, there are lots of different run categories for a bunch of games that are not considered official. For various reasons. And those that are. Like the absolute memory of Minecraft speedruns where people intentionally tried to get the slowest time humanly possible. So much so that you can't even load all of the... <laughs> that you can't even load all of the runs on the board. <laughs> there are that many. 
And no, it's not its own category. It's just put under the same category, which is why it, f it floods the board. I Last I heard, the slowest time, I think, was over a hundred hours. But I think, but also I may be undershooting that, because some people were really taking their time with the game. And it's, it was a beautiful thing. <laughs> you moderate five games with inactive boards? Sad. I've looked at a couple of speedruns for different Persona games before. Uh, I've I've looked at Q and Q2, just to see if there were speedruns of them and what their times were. And I think there's that, for Q specifically, there's only two runs on the board, and one of the runs is the moderator, who also happens to be the moderator for Q2, in which the only run on the board is of the moderator. Which is unfortunate. Thank you. I'm having fun. I think I swallowed a rock, but I'm having fun. <laughs> it was testing the... L I'm... You know what? It... I... I think as I speak, and I'm not gonna finish what I was about to say, because my brain caught up to the words that I was about to relay. <laughs> that rhymed. Uh, but anyway, Priest is four! <laughs> One of the boards is for Afterburner 2. I am not familiar with that game. A popular superscalar game from Sega. Oh! And yet there's not many speedruns on it. Or in fact, there's an- uh, it's a dead board. Weird. I'll see you later. And the only run is yours. No. Welcome home. We're hanging out with Nanako. Save successful. I don't know if it's a hangout or not, but I should still check her rank. Nanako is rank 5. Dang, we flying through these, and these are these two are some of the hardest social links to get because you need really high social stats in order to do them. But that's the magic of New Game Plus. What's up, Nanako? Swear to it. I won't tell a soul. I handed this out at school. I said to give it to our parents. Persona 3 Portable New Game. Parents survey regarding scheduling of parent-teacher interviews. Stats, money, weapons, and Persona Compendium. Yeah, Fez carries over your level. As well as your stats, money, weapons, and compendium. 
I'm assuming, does Portable do the same? Because if it carries over your level, New Game Plus is probably super easy. All you have to do is set up a, a situation where you have the best possible Orpheus Tellus you could fuse. Probably from when you attempted to fight Elizabeth or Theo. Wait for the compendium to be accessible, because it doesn't happen immediately. Buy Orpheus Telos and go, cool. <laughs> There's probably more to it than that, but... I won't deny that when I did New Game Plus Fez, casually, as soon as I had the compendium, I was like, Hello Orpheus Telos, welcome to my party. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to my party. And then I killed uh, Messiah because I needed to make one with a specific move. <laughs> but now that Messiah has Niflheim with Ice Boost and Ice Amp. <laughs> because of Elizabeth. <laughs> they said to have her parents write down when they can visit the school. Faster and fast travel. Also, I'd assume the port is good because you can save anywhere. So you don't... If you do mess up... For, like... Obviously, you wouldn't want to do that for, like, PB attempts. But you do have a safety net at all times in case... Something just dis and in case the game just remembers that it's an Atlas title and says fuck you. <laughs> Cause that's uh that's pretty common. <laughs> I'll ask him with you. Yay. I mean, it's a parent-teacher... Uh, conference type thing, so he kind of has to at some point? I mean, unless there's, like, specific circumstances. No, I don't have anything in my pocket. Alright, I just felt something digging into my hip, and I was like, what the fuck? Do I, did I leave the car key in my pocket? There, pr PSP emulator. Oh my god, there's a category for emulator? That's amazing! Most, most runs don't let you do emulator. And PC for just PC. They're under legacy. That's cool! They let you do- so there's- the emulator runs are under legacy. Since it's PSP, yeah. Yeah, usually- and it's because of how easy it is to, like, mod games. There's hard- it's a hard way- it's hard to tell, like, the authenticity, like, there wasn't some, like, value adjustments. But yeah. That's neat. You don't- you don't see that very often. Good night. A good chunk of Megaton boards allow emulator- I can see why, but it's still just really surprising to me, because you- because most of the time they'll... Unless it's like for a specific fun category that requires actively modding a game, most of them require... hardware. Like, I, I there's a lot that you could... that people just can't speedrun because people say, no, you need hardware. You can't use emulator. And by, by what I mean by, like, runs that are modded is I'm, I'm thinking of, like, RE1 Remake uh, Randomizer on uh, PC. In which you are intentionally modding the game to, you know, randomize it. 
That's a pretty popular run on uh, Games Done Quick. Flashback to me being on the couch with Dangerous as he did a uh, randomizer run. So the, okay, so the only ones that don't allow emulator are Vanilla Persona 5, The Dancing Games, Golden Royal Strikers, Soul Hackers 2, Shin Megami Tensei 5, and other modern Mega Ten games on PS4 and onward. Yeah. It's, it's, a, they allow emulator because speedrunning a game that most people don't have access to the hardware that it's on originally cuts off a lot of people's ability to run the game. And for Persona Q, it's allowed because the 3DS is dead. Hey. <laughs> Same for Q2. <sighs> See, that's what I mean by, like, I was looking up. Like, it reminded me. That game, Q2 did not play nice with Citra. And unless there's, like, another 3DS emulator where that game runs more smoothly, I cannot imagine the pain of having to use save states constantly because the game just says, no, I'm going to freeze. Like, every five minutes, and I was so sad. Citra is better now. <laughs> I play- I played Q2, uh, oh god, when did I play Q2? December? YouTube, tell me. I mean, there's probably something that was done to it. Because I will say that Q ran better the second time that I played it on Citra than the initial time. But, uh... Let me look. Playlists. Persona Q2. The last one was dated. I beat the game on the 2nd of January this year. And, oh my god, it did not cooperate. <laughs> it was after a certain point in the game, too, which makes me think it was, like, a specific update that it just d wasn't compatible with. And the Majin Tensei games? Darn. Uh, it's the 31st. I am currently looking at July because I was doing Justice... Five, I think. Justice five or no, I was doing just a six. We are almost out of the month of May. And I'm already leaps and bounds ahead. We are doing Priestess Five. Original Xbox Mega Ten game? Hmm. We are gonna spend time with you, Yukiko. I have committed. A universe? Where both Priestess and Chariot are higher than Magician. <laughs> oh, it's a new week. I should uh, have an opportunity to go to the drink machines. Um, notebooks, three colors of pens. With a lot of, oh. <laughs> I see. Yeah, that wouldn't be... I mean, even if it was, like, there was a category on speedrun.com or any speedrun board, I don't imagine that would be... That would be showing up on GDQ. Although, when was, uh... I suppose not every... GDQ isn't, like, the end-all, but it's not marathon-friendly. A books, three colors, the pens, a loose leaf folder, labels at the stationery department. Honestly, that's probably why Persona games don't show up in GDQ specifically, because they cover, even if you're speedrunning it and skipping dialogue, they do cover topics that are not 
marathon friendly, especially for ones where the end goal is like a significant amount of donations going to a, a, a significant amount of money raised during the event going to charities. Yeah, but like for GDQ events that are like 24 hours long, the nighttime block is usually taken up by the most common one is like a Final Fantasy game. Final Fantasy 7 has been on that, like, a handful of times, and that's, like, a, what, eight-hour run? Majin Tensei games are basically SMT, but as a tactics game. Oh. Uh, Priestess 5 is any any. Cool. Uh, what's all this for? <laughs> Studying. <laughs> nice. You have some money. Nice. Oh, well, if it isn't the manager of a Magi Inn. Or should I say, the manager to be? I see you haven't gone home yet. Well, I can't very well go anywhere until the next bus or train departs. This really is the boonies. Sir, it's the 31st of May! The bosses have come and gone by this point! Stuck here with nothing to do. And the countryside is the dumps. I beg to differ. Turning down sweet deals is part of country life too, is it? Haha. <laughs> Why would you just- what type of sorry. universe? Huh? These random adults just like approached us? 97. Oh. I see. I feel like I saw that in the poll. I said yes to a lot of things for porting, just because I feel like they all deserve it. And I distinctively remember, I think I saw Majin Tensei as a series show up in the poll. But maybe I'm remembering wrong. That's not true. I'm sorry. It said any. Probably because it doesn't give me points. It's a news of the weird show. It isn't real journalism. Right. They want to make a special called Hot Springs Getting Too Hot for the Imagis. It was an abhorrent title. Mother turned them away. But maybe she shouldn't have declined. I mean, if it gets a bad reputation, we'd lose customers, and the inn really would close its doors. Then, I'd feel better about leaving. It's, yeah, one any any. On the journey to kill Satan. Are you serious? I'm serious. You can go mutter darkly. Oh no! But you're right. There's no real point in saying things like that. I'm leaving under my own power. My life is in my hands now. And of course, I want to help everyone. <laughs> you too, for being such a patient listener all the time. That was right, that is rank five. Okay, cool. One, any, any. I did say one, so that was correct good. Hey! All right, let's we like go those. Home. We like that. We like battle mechanics being unlocked. Welcome home. 
I can hang out with Ojima if I so de desire. Oh no, the fridge is full of food! Protect son's cousin. <laughs> Very familial group of people. <laughs> Dojima, this would be six. Poor fox. <laughs> I am free of the clutches of Persona. I will think about other Atlas titles. I mean, there are, there are a couple that I have my eye on that I've already- I've also already purchased, but... I have so many other things in my backlog. Hierophant 6! Dojima. I'm a little tired, but I'm not bored. <laughs> to any. Got it. Newspaper article? Mm, yeah, I found it. Were you worried about it? Mm. It's about Chisato, my wife. She was killed by a hidden room. Hajin Tensei 3 Ronda does not darn. There's nothing more I can say about it in this house. Stop there. Oh. Even if it's about family? Z. <sighs> Sheesh. Don't you miss size? It's not a wry smile. No! She. No! Any, but I'm just I'm gonna put it out there. That's just an excuse. Sorry. It's weird. That I think required courage, but it doesn't matter. Which is bizarre. I can feel your pain. Well, I can sense it. I don't feel it. Anyway, good night. <laughs> you left Ojima in the living room and went to your room. Scroll all the way back up. It is. Moon! Hang out with you? Yes. I looked it up. Moon 3! Hmm. That's pretty cool.
Okino City in front of Okino Station. You came here because I insisted. Hello. Hmm. I don't really feel like buying stuff today. What should we do instead? You are asking? Uh, one or two. Uh, come shopping with me. What? What? You mean you want to go shopping? Well, I guess that could be interesting once or twice. If I didn't sign up to manage your team, you wouldn't be here with me right now. Looking at it from your perspective, I'd say you got pretty lucky. Ooh. Not exactly. <laughs> You're still a butt hurt that I made you skip class. Oh my god. <laughs> Putting someone besides yourself first. I don't understand people who play sports in the slightest. I guess it wouldn't kill me to go cheer you on every once in a while. Cool. With self-importance for some reason. <laughs> a little. A little. Wow, guy. <laughs> like, I don't plan, I have no intentions of dating, I, but bro. <laughs> this is unfortunate. And of course, she's gonna be as rude as possible about it. Well, now I just feel sorry for you. Whoa! You always forget how just how much persona we have to get through. Hello, dates. <laughs> yeah. A bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> Any but three puts it in reverse. Can't you be nice? Wouldn't that be even meaner? I shrugs. Uh-huh. Ugh. We didn't even do anything! Granted, you're a fan, just, wow, looking back on what I've gone through already, it's impressive. Yeah, oh my god. Like, I have no idea. Like, something that was like, oh yeah, I'll do it for the summer, has turned into such a huge thing. Like, theoretically, I'd be done at this point. If it weren't for portable announcement and then just deciding, you know what, Persona 4 Vanilla, because why not? I'm already playing some games twice. I'm not gonna give that to vanilla Persona 5 though, sorry. Persona 5 fans. You got Royal. That's it. And it's not even on my YouTube because I wasn't locally recording at that point. Oops. <laughs> hey, but you got Strikers in Q2. It's good enough. You also got the dancing game. <laughs> Get wrecked, peace, be fine, fans. Yeah. <laughs> well, neither of them want to hang out with me, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> to sleep I go. Who am I gonna dream about? It looks like I am gonna have a dream. I dreamed that I was comforting Chie. Cool. And it's raining this afternoon. It's th Thursday. Oh, we're doing sun! Hey! I'm going to town and buy some soda. <laughs> Also, rainy day sale. <laughs> oh. 
No, not the vend not the vending machine. Shiroku. What? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, we have ointment now. Let's start with five. Medical kit. Why ten of those? I have enough revival beads, I think. Got anything else? Go home, vanish ball. Yeah. Okay. So we still have some money left over. Nice. Buy the special thing. I mean, I should buy as many as I- Does it- Do they eventually stop me? Or is it only one? <laughs> is there a limit to how many I can buy? Oh, yep. I just bought the last one. Nice. Thank you. I didn't even turn away from the mic. I'm so sorry. No, no prize. Ah! Unlucky. But back to the school, because we're going to hang out with the Sun social link. I have Q-Sith, yes? I have a Sun persona, right? Yep, there's Q-Sith. She is on the second floor. <laughs> yep, hello. Hey! Drama! 212. Got it. Yasugami High Drama Club. You participated in the acting exercises. It upped my maxed expression. <laughs> no, it's a bit early, but we're at a good place to stop. Why don't we call it a day? No! The bell hasn't rung yet. You want to quit early? You're slacking off. You need to take this more seriously. Y Yumi, you shouldn't work too hard. I feel like I'm the only one who cares about this club. Stop holding us back. The reason you never get any lead roles is because you act like that. Wow. Wow. What? Oh. Was I wrong when I said that? No, or it was how you said it. Well...
You don't want to go home, but nothing is wrong. There's nobody at my house. Oh, yeah, that's probably... Thought I'd forgotten them. Sorry, I've just been whining. Just forget about this, okay? I can't forget. That's not very nice. <laughs> the show must Thank go. You. <laughs> yeah, I haven't spoken to you in a month. Thanks for still being my friend despite that. <laughs> If this were a real person situation, you would have felt incredibly weirded out by my by my just constant inability to come hang out with you. That it would feel almost kind of rude to just reinsert myself into your life like this, but video game. Sun 4. And tomorrow is Hermit 3. Finally got a re lead role. I have to make sure that I can do Hi. it. All right. I'll see you at school. Bye, Yumi. I need to hang out with. I need to hang out with somebody what eventually. It is raining. Do you want to hang out, Nanako? Oh, <gasps> you do. You do. Social link. Nanako is rank six. If it is a rank up, it will be seven. No music change. Okay, cool. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. I'm gonna save. And lament the fact that I could have done all my shopping -y today instead of yesterday because we're hanging out with the hermit. It's fine. Just covering my bases. I saw that it was getting close to the next week, so I thought, ah, oh, I should... <laughs> I should go shopping. Let's hang out with the fox. Honestly, the fox is a good one to do on these days, because I think it's the only social link that's available on rainy days. <laughs> Nice. Hey. Hermit three, and it now costs a little bit less for the SP restoring services of the fox. <laughs> I passed some time with the fox. I hung out with a cool dog. <laughs> it's like, why did it take so long for you to go home? It's raining. Your friends wouldn't want to hang out in this. Oh, sorry, did you, oh, Jima. I just met this really cool dog. <laughs> Welcome home. Oh, 
I don't need to save. It's not like anything changed. We'll just be doing Dejima's social again. Which is at rank six. Makes me think that it's not ranking up. <laughs> hey. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think this is just a normal hangout. Because they're in the latter half of their social links. I can only imagine that I'm going to have to hang out bo with both of them twice before they can rank up. Rain doesn't seem to be letting up. I appreciate that that's the warning of, like, the, yeah, if you haven't done the thing, you should probably save Kanji when it goes it goes out of its way to say the rain doesn't appear to be letting up. It's like, yeah, uh, you don't have much time left. It's neat. We like that. I'm gonna go into town and get the next quest for the fox. And then we'll eat at Aya's. I will save first, though. Because RNG. <laughs> oh, weird. The invisible wall there is at an angle. Okay, accept the request. We want Koro to come back. Ah, missing dog. Yes. Can I one day this or no? This is quest 20. Probably not, because I'll bet it won't be out when it's raining, but who knows. At the shopping district north, so is there a dog? Where is a dog? I see no dog. Nope. Doesn't show up on rainy days. Had a feeling. Wait. No, it's at the summer go floodplain first. Never mind. Sorry, this uh the quest guide is um Written in Japanese and then direct translated, I think, by the person who wrote the thing. So, the organization of the, like, my task is not go to the Samogawa floodplain and talk to the dog. It says, talk to the dog, go to the Samogawa floodplain. And it's like, huh? Like, it's correct, but it's presenting- it's- the sentence is written in a way that makes it seem like I'm doing one before the other when it's actually reversed. Uh, it still doesn't appear to show up when it's raining, though, so. <laughs> Unless I missed it. I might have missed it. Let me look again. It's not by the riverbank. Nope. Doesn't show up when it rains. Well, at least we know. For sure, instead of, uh, assuming and being wrong. Tomorrow, I should be able to start, though. So. Man, yeah, look at this. If I keep going straight, it, it pushes me this way. Because there's, there's not actually any more, like, 
I guess there's not much more map. So the invisible wall is at an angle. Alright. Rainy day beef bowl challenge. Because I don't have max diligence. Please up my diligence. Please. <laughs> it won't be the end of the world if it doesn't, but I'd really like it to. Okay, understanding, knowledge. Ah, no diligence. This is very sad. It's the only stat I need. <gasps> and now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is I'm eating out of the fridge today, chat. Later tonight. I'm about to consume something abhorrent. Seems the fog will set in tonight. I kind of forgot about that. I wonder if there were a couple of nights where I could have hung out with Nanako or Dojima and, uh, and I just didn't check the fridge. There's a bottle of milk that's past its expiration date. That sounds like a really good idea. For sure. Ignore... The images and videos of people pouring milk out of containers after their expiration date. Don't picture that. Don't picture that while drinking that. Better yet. Don't do that because, wow, what do you know? The milk was halfway to becoming yogurt. However you don't feel well. Yeah, no shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, good job, protagonist. <laughs> I made you do that, but I I still am saying that you're silly. <laughs> you did it right before checking the midnight channel. <laughs> Imagine getting a game not not saving him and getting a game over. It's like, yeah, I drank half expired milk and then watched Kanji die. <laughs> Oops. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Kanji has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. And now let me go sleep off that not-yogurt. Meanwhile, at the fog-shrouded shopping district, Again. It's sunny today. Chariot 8! Didn't mean to do that. We'll do the shopping program. There's the Fundoshi, which we already have. It's not very good anymore. Eat up a trout! <gasps> Buying fish online or over the phone? Mail ordering fish? Sounds like a great idea. What could go wrong? <laughs> Only Tanaka as amazing commodities would sell armor with a healing item and a collection of fish. <laughs> It's like, I'll pick one or the other. <laughs> She's in front of the shopping district, yeah. She's in front of the shopping district? She's in the shopping district. <laughs> oh. 
Alright. 520 is gone. Save successful. Let's hang out with Chihei! Yo! God, Chariot 8. Chariot 8 on the 5th of June. I've never finished Chariot this quickly. Watch her get to 9 and then we not talk to her for like a whole month. <laughs> In the movie I watched the other day, this guy knocked down a tree using only his leg. Hmm. How does someone kick that hard? Just practice? Ch Chie. Oh. Oh, hey, Takeshi. W were you robbed again? No. I took off right after that, right? So I thought I'd apologize. Why don't you be a man and admit you ran away? What? Were you this anal before? <laughs> you lose that sunny attitude, you won't have anything left. Push him in the river. What's up with Yukiko? I saw her with you the other day. She seemed weirdly cheerful. She had this funky laugh, you know. That funky laugh, that's how she really is. Oh, you've rubbed off on her, huh? Can't believe it. That's not Yukiko, son. She was better gloomy. Push him in the river! <sighs> Look, if you get into trouble again, I'll step in and help. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. So why don't you shut your mouth about Yukiko? You don't know anything about her. She's a good person, got it? W what the hell? I still think we should push him in the river. I just remembered. Way hey, back. I saw Yugiko sitting by the road holding a dog. I asked her what's up, and she said she ran away from home. She'd picked up the dog, but her parents told her she couldn't have a pet, and that she'd have to get rid of it. She looked like she was dead or something. I trade everything I could think of to make her laugh. That's how we became friends. From that moment on, I told myself I'd protect Yukiko. But somewhere along the way, I messed up, and that shadow popped out. After that, I thought I'd try to focus on what's good about me. I swore to quit being nothing but the girl Yukiko can rely on. So I just tried my best. Finding the culprit and stuff, just generally being more reliable. That's all. I feel like I missed the point. That's the first step. Thanks, you're too kind. Maybe a half a step? I wonder if there's anyone out there who can say, this is what makes me worthwhile. I guess everyone's looking for it. Chie was able to take a step forward and face herself. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. Rank 8. Man. I've never been this efficient. And yet I'm still behind in some areas because strength, because I chose the wrong sport. Oh! oh yeah, that dog I, that Yukiko picked up, it's gotten really fat at my place. <laughs> Come by and see it sometime. It smells, but it's cute. Maybe I'll walk it over to your house. See you later. Well, I've yet to become the Lord of Cats, so you're gonna have to do that soon before that happens. Welcome home. Cause trust me, I'm going to end up becoming the Lord of Cats.
It's like technically both, but it's like a little different. Oh yeah, Matador with Mahama. Yeah, I'll get on that in a little bit. I forgot about these where if you looked at them, it would give you like a bit of an info. Okay, so this might be rank seven. No, it's not because the last one didn't say that she was gonna rank up. Wait. Oh, cause right, right, right. Story is happening tomorrow. Yeah. Oh boy. The lull is almost over. Not really, though. The in fact, technically, the lull hasn't even started. I mean, it has because we beat the bathhouse so early, but. The lull officially starts when, like, when he's joined the team. That is what I categorize as the lull. The official lull. The plot lull. Okay, next time we hang out with Nanako. Sup, Kanji? Uh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Uh, I guess when you don't really go to school every day, that would that would happen. <laughs> so I don't. Really also, if you don't pay attention happened. to anyone outside of your grade, that would also happen. It's all right, Kanji. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who is that boy you met with? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. Yeah! Two guy. Shut up, GA. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I, I started thinking, what if... I'm the type who never gets interested in girls. And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. How are you feeling? I'm not asking the third one. I will I'm never ask now. the third one. Because that leaves implication implications to, like, antagonize him. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Uh, forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. You're pretty cool. <laughs> I doubt it. No, you are cool. You were you are very cool. I really liked the I really liked the kanji interactions in Q side four like a lot. You were very cool. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. 
Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, it's like she can't call me believe a it. Good kid. <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. Hmm. Dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. And I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. Yeah. Well, TV worlds and all so, that. Like, are you guys playing detective or something? Hmm, well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? You have a persona. If there's some bastard out there who put me through this. I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Of course you can. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best. Hell yeah. Kanji Tatsumi joined your group. He'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Rank four! The investigation team's social link has reached level four. Your power to create personas of the fool, Arcana, has grown. Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? Yeah, let's go to Juno's. <laughs> uh, we're, we're still calling it that? What? What's that? Come on, let's go. We're gonna go to Juno's, and then we're gonna go through the TV, and you're gonna meet our friend Teddy. He's cool. We like Teddy. Some some people don't. We <laughs> We tolerate Teddy. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. Ah, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, 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 is he beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? I mean, depending on the TV. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you dipshits? <laughs> Boring. Ah, uh, 
I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how could they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. I just had flashbacks to the Yosuke chapter in Persona 4 Arena, where the word rubbernecking, I think, was used three times? Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's gonna be targeted anymore. And the first time I saw it, I was like, I'm sorry, I need a, dis I need a definition for that word. <laughs> This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? I don't think it holds up. Hmm. Think we're wrong about this one, too? I don't know. That announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. We haven't come up with a reason yet why the killer would target their children. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? I mean... Yeah... <laughs> it's kanji. This is actually very helpful, I think, information, if I recall. There are several lists. Which one do you read out loud? Enka album chart. I hear her album sales have gone up since the incident. If she knows about it, and she's using it to sell her songs, that's pretty sketchy. Hmm. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. Female announcer rankings? Mayumi Yamano is around the lower middle of the list. Does this mean she wasn't that well known until the incident? It's just this guy's personal rankings, nothing important. What does the next one say? The list of TV programs. Mayumi Yamano, 411. Saki Konishi, 413. What are these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the, the 12th. The 11th is the day before that, uh... I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? The day she was on TV. I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh yeah, I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found that first body. And this part, Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV, too? Oh, she was on! I remember now, that was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed, too? When did that interview air? I, I think it was when I was absent from school. Um... I will commend you if you remember this, because I don't know the specific date. It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? Yes, but not the day. I remember. <laughs> sort of. Not really, but... that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and the date. Just tell us the date. Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. Uh, it's true then. Everyone was God, on TV was before that? they disappeared. I don't remember. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? 
I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. It can't be a coincidence. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. Th yeah, that must be it. I really like this game's story. I do, I do like the actual, like, deduction thing. Like, yes, eventually you'll get to the correct answer in some of these earlier segments, but... Either by an NPC or a, a party member gently correcting you or leading you in the right direction, but it's, it's nice. It's like actually, on a first playthrough, it's actually like figuring it out. It's cool. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Oh, you're okay. It's fine. Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. <laughs> well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. Yes. Ah, <sighs> that reminds me. The school campout's next week. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain. Ah, oh, yes, the campout. Hmm. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What? <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh yeah, look at them all being really good friends. Now let's go to the school camp out and have almost everyone rubber band back for no reason other than trying yeah. to make something funny. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember mm. this thing. Luckily, we're not getting to it today. Because I don't imagine I'll be able to go on for much longer. <laughs> Much less long enough to get to the next week. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey, why is it a bear? We do not know. I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. I've been wondering, too. It, it's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? Oh, oh God, the camp out? Mm-hmm. Another time. Not today, unfortunately, probably tomorrow, but... <laughs> no touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Uh... What was it like for Senpai... Oh, sorry. 
I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. More gentle? <sighs> what a pair of dimwits. Oh yeah, here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. I... Um... Hurry and put them on. We're hazing him right now. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? <laughs> it looks perfect on you. Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that. Kanji grabbed the other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding. My spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, my sides. <laughs> this and there the they go. One. Wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? I like how his are like shades. Damn it. I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> oh, welcome home, big bro. Uh, it's the six. I'm probably going to end here. It's a little late. I don't want to go till midnight again, because even though I took a nap, that's just not a good idea if I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'll start at a normal time. I won't start at, like, almost... Or I was already five. I won't start at, like, five or something. IRL stuff. And then I overslept my nap. <laughs> well, four hours is not bad. We did have to push it a little bit later in order to get to that, but yeah. Four hours is a pretty decent stream length. Not my preferred, because I have gotten really comfortable with the typical five to six, but... Still, we got past the lull. I'm trying to speed run my way to the camp out so we can get that behind us while also doing all the social link juggling there's my ps3 controller there it is say goodbye to youtube everyone Goodbye, YouTube.